Continuing our weekday devotions, I'd like to reflect on a poem by Rupert Brooke. He was an accomplished English poet who died in 1915 during World War I. Um, the Irish poet William Butler Yeats called him the handsomest man in all of England, and Winston Churchill in an obituary said much the same. Rupert Brooke knew an awful lot about sorrow. All of his siblings died in the war, and yet through it all he exuded a strength and dignity that won him the love and respect of all who knew him. In his famous wartime sonnet, The Soldier, he wrote, If I should die, think this of me, that there's some corner of foreign field that is forever England. In another poem, which you have before you, titled Safety, Rupert Brooks writes, we have found safety with all things undying, the wind, the morning, tears of men and mirth, the deep night and birds singing and clouds flying and sleep and freedom and autumnal earth. We have built a house that is not for time's throwing. We have gained a peace unshaken by pain forever. And then he concludes this poem by writing, war knows no power safe shall be my going secretly armed against all death's endeavor safe though all safety's lost safe when men fall and if these poor limbs die safest of all as we all face a very uncertain future not knowing day to day what to expect i find two thoughts from this poem that comfort me first it's a good time to find safety in simple things we often overlook. The wind, the morning, the birds singing, the clouds flying, and sleep and freedom and autumnal earth. Thus we gain a peace unshaken by pain forever. When we face the end, and yet we know that it is still God's world, we are able to face life with a courage and tranquility that otherwise we would lack. The second thought that comforts me is that when all safety is lost, we are safest of all. What Brooke's saying is that really the un only security in life lies in embracing life's insecurity. I love that old story that C.S. Lewis tells of a woman in London during World War II. The bombs were falling all over London and she slept through it all and someone said, how can you sleep when the bombs are falling all over the place? And with a twinkle in her eye, she said, well, I say to the bomb, you are just a bomb, but I am an immortal spirit. Or as Paul would say, nothing can separate us from the love of God.